Avast me hearty, so you want to be the saltiest dog in all of us. <laughs> I can't do the voice for the whole episode. Uh, it's Pirates Day, so we're going to talk about how to dress up like a pirate. Alrighty, as someone who has spent way too much time trying to figure out how to make my character look like a pirate, here's what I've learned. Rule number one is keep it simple. Pirates are going to wear light armor, so you want something like a very plain cloth pair of pants, that's going to be hard for plate users, a nice open chested shirt, and a pair of cap boots. Now just add on a very simple belt with a buckle on it and you've got your standard vanilla pirate look. Now this looks good on its own, but you're probably not going to be taking home first place in the National Pirate Finals. So if you want to secure the title of Saltiest Dog, let's spruce things up a little bit. Add a short sleeve vest and a pair of gloves, upgrade your belt to something with 3D elements, and throw on some sort of headwear, either an eye patch if you want to keep your hairstyle intact, or a fleet commander's hat if you want to show off your rank. There's a couple really nice all-class cosmetic fleet commander hats you can get, either through Island Expeditions, the Auction House, or the Garrison Shipyard. If you send enough ships to their death, this guy will mail you his hat. If you're Horde, it's red. Now let's talk about the most important part of any pirate's arsenal, their weapons. Now, hands down, the best class for pirate weapons is Outlaw Rogue, because we have a ton of rapier and cutlass artifact appearances. That being said, not everyone can play the perfect class, so there are options for all you non-rogues. If you use one-handed weapons, there's a standard array of cutlasses, especially from Kul that you can use as your main hand weapon, and anything from mugs to torches as your offhand. Shield users can strap a ship's wheel to their arm. For daggers, there's a couple broken bottle transmogs. Two-handed melee users probably have the worst set of options, but there's still a couple boat hooks and tridents you can use. And if you're a caster, there's a staff of a giant anchor stuck on it. Now at this point, you're really starting to look the part. But no pirate is complete without their trusty shoulder-mounted companion. That's where Crackers comes in. What's unique about Crackers is that if you target him and do a slash whistle, he'll perch on your shoulder and stay there until you die. Or shapeshift. Sorry, druids. Now, Crackers is pretty easy to get, but you're going to need a level 110 rogue, or level 45, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be after the squish. Either way, you need someone who can do the rogue order hall campaign. So if you have that free boost you got when you pre-ordered Shadowlands sitting around and you haven't used it yet, now might be a good time. Basically, you'll get a quest where Crackers decides you're a much cooler pirate than Tephys and flies over to join your side. At that point, you learn him as a companion, and any character, regardless of class, can use him. If you don't have a rogue and you don't feel like leveling one, there's also a version of Crackers that wears a little pirate hat you can buy in the Blizzard store, but I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to enter your credit card info. Another nice thing about Crackers is that once he's mounted on your shoulder, he doesn't count as a companion pet, so you can summon a second companion pet like a parrot, a crab, a skeletal monkey in a pirate costume, a squid in an eye patch, or a cannon. One of the best places to get pirate-themed pets is in the Dead Mines, located here in the southern portion of Westfall. Run around behind this building by the entrance and talk to this homeless man to do a weekly quest where you go pet battle in the dead mines. You get a coin which allows you to buy things like a pocket cannon and a rat in a tricorn hat. I never claimed a path to piracy was a normal or sane one. If you're not a fan of pet battling, just kill pirates on the final ship in the dungeon until they drop a parrot. Watch the guilt of your crimes vanish before your eyes as you summon your new February friend. Want to make your pet bigger? Give it a tablet of human growth hormone. Don't have HGH? Go to the Timeless Isles and buy some from a man riding a snail. If you don't know where the Timeless Isle is, it's here on Pandaria. The snail guy is a rare spot who will randomly appear somewhere in this square. He sells HGH tablets to your pets in exchange for a currency you get from killing elite mobs around the island. I'm also pretty sure he collects human souls. Now let's talk about the most important part of any pirate's ensemble. Getting that bling. To get started, head to Zulgarub, located here in Northern Stranglethorn Vale. Talk to this goblin in a suit who's interested in booty. He asks you to kill a bunch of people in exchange for money. That's basically what piracy is, so you're off to a good start. Go kill the four people at the X's, then kill the guy at the circle. The first four bosses can be one shot, so I'm not going to bother showing you how to kill them. Two of them can drop mounts, so that's nice, good luck. Once they're dead, head to the center pyramid. Make sure to kill one of the Goliath guys walking around here first, or you won't be able to finish the fight. Once one's dead, go upstairs and poke Jindo. He'll pull you into the spirit realm, at which point you need to go back downstairs, grab one of the ghosts you just engaged, pull him back up to the top, and stand still on top of the chains until he does a stomp on you that breaks their shield. Once the shield's broken, kill the chain. Don't kill the spirit. Do it two more times till all the chains are broken. Then Jindo gets naked and tries to beat you up. Like I said, the path to becoming the saltiest dog is really weird. Kill Jindo, loot his body, go back to the goblin at the start, talk to him again. Turn in the first quest, and you'll get a second quest to go back to Booty Bay and loot some treasure out of a statue at Gennaro's Point. 
Once you turn on the quest, you'll get Black Ice, a toy that allows you to have a giant black diamond ring on your finger at all times. Your path to unparalleled piracy is almost complete, but there's one more step you need to take to make sure you're unchallenged on the seven seas. That's right, it's time to hoist the skull and bones. Now to get this flag, you're going to need the achievement of Vast Ye Admiral, which is a feat of strength awarded for being friendly with the Bloodsail Buccaneers. This is a pretty big undertaking because you started hated with them. So, how do you farm reputation with a faction that won't talk to you? Allow me to show you. Hey, yeah. Time is money, Drake. Oh! Basically, kill everyone in Booty Bay a bunch of times for several hours. Luckily, the bruisers don't hit as hard as they used to, so it's more of just a grind if anything, but it's still gonna take some time. Also be warned, you are going to become persona non grata with every goblin-run city in Azeroth. And take it from me, the grind to get those four reputations back up is a lot worse than this one. Once you're friendly with the Bloodsail Buccaneers and hated by Booty Bay, fly over to this boat and talk to Pretty Boy Duncan, who'll give you the quest of Asti Scallywag to go over to the next ship and talk to Fleet Master Firalon, who will actually be friendly with you, because I am not destroying my reputation with Booty Bay a second time for the sake of this video. Go below decks, turn in a Vasty Scallywag, and Firalon will give you a quest of Vasty Admiral to return to Booty Bay and kill the leaders of the city, Fleet Master Seahorn and Baron Rivaglaz. Kill the two of them, return to the ship, and complete the quest. You'll be granted the feat of strength of Vasty Admiral, which allows you to purchase the flag from Edward Tetched on Pirate's Day, but one day he can be found in-game. You can find him here. The feat of strength will also grant you the title Bloodsail Admiral and an all-class cosmetic pirate hat. It looked a lot cooler before we had all the new ones. With a stylish outfit, sharp blades, a parrot on your shoulder, and a Jolly Roger on your back, you're almost ready to call yourself a fearsome pirate. There's only one more thing you need, a trusty mount. The unarguable best mount for any self-respecting pirate is, of course, a massive parrot. There are two available to you, Sharkbait from Freehold and Squawks from Island Expeditions. There's also a boat you can purchase in the store, but again, I'm not going to do a guide on how to put your credit card info into a computer. If you're going after Sharkbait, you're going to want to go to Freehold, which can be found here on the southern tip of Kul Tiras. Assert yourself as a superior pirate by killing Harlan Sweetie on Mythic difficulty for a 1% chance to drop them out. He also has a chance to drop a cool pirate cutlass for one-handed users, and a shark jaw shoulder for plate and mail wearers. If green's more your color, go after Squawks by chain farming island expeditions to get doubloons. Use those doubloons to purchase Crestfall or Rotting Mire Salvage from Captain Kit or Captain Nightrunner. Both boxes can contain squawks, with Rotting Mire Salvage having a slightly better drop chance at 12%. Do be aware, the things they sell rotate every week, so you might have to wait a few weeks to get the right salvage. If you'd like more specific instructions for any of the steps I talked about in this video, I wrote a corresponding Wowhead guide which you can find in the description below. And if you're already watching us on Wowhead, you don't even need to click. And there you have it, me hearties. Congratulations on becoming an official salty dog, and I look forward to encountering your flags on the high seas. Remember, the real treasure is the friends we made along the way. I'm just kidding, it's mountains of gold. And as always, thanks for watching.